Pro Group Management. Workers' Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. A popular YouTuber with over 8 million subscribers gets in a gun battle inside his Henderson house during a home invasion. And that leads our top story, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. We're learning more about the YouTuber known as CJ So Cool, who was shot several times on January 12th. You thought it was fake, but Stupid. there's nothing fake about getting woken up at 3 o'clock in the morning, getting shot. How many times you got to say that? His real name is Cordero James Brady. Police say he grabbed his handgun from his nightstand and shot back at the two invaders. Five were arrested, including these two. Nobody I know is associated with the crime that was taking place in my house. Hours before the invasion, police say a suspect sent this text to another suspect. And according to the International Association of Firefighters Union, life-saving equipment designed to protect firefighters is causing cancer to an unknown number of first responders. Review Journal's Renee Semerauer has more on the toxic tort law announced Monday. In a Monday news conference at the Caesars Forum Convention Center, the union announced that it had retained a trio of prominent toxic tort law firms to demand changes to the personal protective gear firefighters use and to explore compensation for cancer-ridden firefighters and their families. At issue is substances also known as PFAS or forever chemicals designed to coat against substances and elements such as heat. This gear has been in, in circulation probably since the late 80s, early 90s, and we know that the chemical corporations identified PFAS as toxic as far back as the 1960s. So we should never have had this chemical in our gear. The union is demanding gear that is free of the chemicals in question. According to firefighters and union reps, up to three quarters of firefighters memorialized in the past year died from, quote, occupational cancer and tax breaks under consideration for Tesla. The company plans to invest around $3.6 billion in electric semi-trucks, creating 3,000 jobs in two factories in northern Nevada. The tax abatements are on the agenda for the Governor's Office of Economic Development's board meeting on March 2nd. In business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. Home builder confidence nationally is ticking higher in January after 12 consecutive monthly declines. That's according to the National Association of Home Builders. On this chart, you can see the big decline of builder sales and construction permits in the last year after peaking in 2021. However, experts say the housing freeze is slowly thawing thanks to a modest drop in interest rates. Locally, builders landed 416 net sales in December, 33% higher than a month ago, but still down 57% from a year ago. And another month, another record for Nevada's gaming industry. The state reports Nevada casinos won $1.31 billion from gamblers in December, a more than 14% increase from a year ago. That sets an all-time record of $14.8 billion in gaming wins for 2022. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. After a much calmer day with no more snow, you're looking at a cool and clear night in the 40s. Temps falling to the 30s in just a few hours. A chilly but quiet night. On Wednesday, a sunny day with a high of 56 and low of 35 degrees. The forecast shows a warm-up starting on Thursday with highs hitting the 60s. Similar temps on Friday but with some cloud coverage, which should mostly clear up for your weekend and beyond. Vegas Nation, brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. It looks like Las Vegas will be able to say goodbye to Derek Carr after all. The veteran quarterback has been added as a replacement for the 2023 Pro Bowl games, which will be played at Allegiant Stadium on Sunday. Carr is technically still on the Raiders roster, although he is expected to either be traded or released in the coming weeks. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital. We're here for you when you need us. It's all part of the Youth Artery Pipeline Project aimed at addressing workforce shortages in school psychology and increasing mental health services to students. Particularly during the pandemic, it heightened uh, the mental health need of so many students. So 
the funding that you're talking about is over really for Nevada State College. There's um, over a million dollars that I fought for that now is going to train uh, new uh, psychologists and mental health professionals. Nevada State College was awarded $1.2 million grant to assist students pursuing school-based mental health degrees. In sports, the Las Vegas Aviators gave back to a local nonprofit in a big way on Tuesday afternoon. Well, we have shirts, long sleeve shirts, short sleeve, a lot of hats. After taking inventory ahead of the upcoming season, the Aviators organization realized that there was a lot of dated merchandise that needed to find a good home. I've known about Project 150 and it's a great organization and we wanted to donate the product there because it goes to kids that really need it. So our mission is to keep kids in high school. We want them to graduate and we do that by providing all their basic necessities for free. The van is packed full of all kinds of merch. We just can't thank the aviators enough for their partnership. Sports betting brought to you by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Westgate Superbook posted several baseball futures, including MVP. Braves outfielder Ronald Acuna Jr. is the 5-1 favorite in the National League, followed by Dodgers outfielder Mookie Betts at 6-1. Padres outfielder Juan Soto is next at 7-1. Angels standout Shohei Otani is the 2-1 favorite to win the American League award, while Yankees outfielder Aaron Judge is 8-1. In Entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. A new theater is shaking up the arts district, bringing old school Vegas back. The Lamar Theater is the only freestanding theater in Vegas with black owners. Actor John Claude Lamar and Eureka Pratt's opened it in July. The Lamar hosts Black Magic Live and the Elvis tribute Spirit of the King. And guess which Food Network star was in town over the weekend to celebrate her restaurant's 10 years on the strip? Gia De Laurentiis. During her first visit, she worked on the Valentine's Day menu for Giada at the Cromwell, including this tortellini stuffed with lemon-scented ricotta cheese and braised short rib, spaghetti with crab and mascarpone lemon crema, and this heart-shaped chocolate chip cookie cake with caramel panna cotta and raspberry jam. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you have Amazon Fire TV, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News, streaming live on your OTT device. See you tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.